Here you go, Psyduck. Psyduck, Psyduck. That's the third time you fell in this week. We're going to have to put a cover on this tank. Psyduck. Of course, you could just stop playing with the water, but I think covers may be better. I'll make sure you're safe. Psyduck, Psyduck. Now, I just have to get a measurement for the size of the cover. The cover needs to fit across the top of the tank. With the rectangular tanks you fell in, it was easy. I just multiplied the length of the tank by its width. That gave me the area of the top of the tank. That was the size we needed for the cover. But how do we find the area for a tank in the shape of a circle? Psyduck. We're going to need some help with this. Let's use the Poké Pilot to contact Ada. <coughs> Hi, Ada. Hi, Misty. How are things? Things are good. Well, maybe not for Psyduck. I have a problem, and I thought you might be able to help. Sure. What's up? We've been making covers for some of the Pokemon tanks. They keep Psyduck from falling in the tanks. Psyduck. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good idea. So what's the problem? To make the covers, I need to know the area of the top of the tank. I know how to find the area for a rectangle, but we have a lot of circular tanks. How do I find the area for the tops of those tanks? I can help you with that. So first, tell me about the tank. I'll show you. It's a tank with a round top that is two meters across. Okay. So if it's two meters across, we say its diameter is two meters. Huh? Say that. Yep. The diameter of a circle is the length of a straight line from one point on the edge of the circle through the center of the circle to another point on the edge. Okay, so the diameter of the top of this tank is two meters. That's right. To find the area of the circle, though, we need to find the radius. Do you know what the radius of a circle is? Uh, I think so. It's like a ray of light. It goes from the center to the outside. That's a good way of thinking about it. It's the distance from the center of the circle to an outside point. It's also half of the diameter. So in this case, the diameter is two meters, meaning the radius is one meter. Say, you got it. We can use this radius in the formula for finding the area of a circle, pi r squared. Say, huh? that. <laughs> Sounds funny, doesn't it? R stands for the radius, your ray from the center. R squared means you multiply the radius by itself or square it. And then pi is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Remember, the circumference of a circle is the measure all around the edge of the circle. And so pi is actually a number, 3.14. To find the area of the top of a circular tank, you would multiply pi by the radius squared. Okay, for this tank, we would multiply pi by one squared, since the radius is one meter. One multiplied by one is one, so the area of this circle is one pi. That's it. Now all you have to do is multiply one by pi, or three point one four. That is three point one four square meters. Great work. You'll need 3.14 square meters of material for the top of this tank. Great! I can make sure we get enough cover material for this tank, but we should probably cover another tank just to be sure. Say, it's okay. Would you help me find the area of another circle for tank covers? Let's do it. I need to find the area for another tank. Will you help me? What is the formula for the area of a circle? Right, the area of a circle is the radius squared times pi. What is the radius of a circle? Is it the distance around the outer edge of the circle, the distance from the center of the circle to an outer edge, or the distance from one side of the circle through the middle point to the other side of the circle? Right. The radius of a circle extends from the center to the outer edge of the circle. The diameter of this tank is 20 decimeters. What is the radius?
Right. The radius is half of the diameter, or 10 decimeters. What is the radius? 10 decimeters squared. Right. 10 multiplied by itself is 100. What is the area of a circle with a radius of 10 decimeters? Right. The radius squared is 100, and 100 pi is 314. You guys did great. Are you ready to try a bigger challenge? Let's go. You might need to use scratch paper or a calculator for this challenge. Psyduck needs help getting across this path. There are holes on the trail. Don't let Psyduck fall in. To fill in the hole, drag the correct circle to a hole by finding the area, radius, or diameter of the hole. Wrong circles just won't stay in place. Help Psyduck! Fill these holes with more circles. Awesome! Which circle will fill the hole in the path? Awesome! Which circle will fill the hole in the path? Awesome! Which circle will fill the hole in the path? Awesome! Here are more holes to fill. Great! Here are more holes to fill. Excellent! Which circle will fill the hole in the path? Great! Here are more holes to fill. Excellent! Which circle will fill the hole in the path? Awesome! Help Psyduck! Fill these holes with more circles! Great! Now you can use the area of a circle formula to find the right size for the covers and anything else you might need. Thanks, Ada. Now we'll be able to keep Psyduck dry and safe. Glad I could help. Bye. See ya. Okay, Psyduck, let's make some more covers. Psyduck? <coughs> Remember, the area of a circle is found by squaring the radius. Try again. The radius is half the length of the diameter of a circle. The diameter is twice the length of the radius. When you square a number, you multiply it by itself. Remember, the area of a circle is found by squaring the radius. Wrong circles just won't stay in place. Help Psyduck! Fill these holes with more circles. Try again. <laughs>